Did you know that x-ray is produced in these little tiny tubes? X-ray tubes used in lots of medical fields like CT, CBCT, panoramic and dentistry, and also in mammography. The x-ray tube has the same function and components in all the machines. So in this video, we're going to talk about the x-ray tubes and how the x-ray is produced. Hi there, I'm Farida. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been here, welcome back to the Dental Radiology. Thank you for watching this video and subscribing my channel and helping me to grow this channel. So, the x-ray tube consists of two main parts, that would be the anode and the cathode. They're inside a vacuated glass tube. The anode is the positive terminal part that you can remember it as A plus that we all love to get in our exams and the cathode that would be the negative terminal and the x-ray tube remembered as a C minus. So they're both inside a evacuated glass tube that creates the air-free vacuum to protect the tube from oxidation. And all of these parts are inside the tube housing that you actually see in the radiology clinics. Let's look at all the parts in details. The negative terminal of the x-ray tube is called the cathode. Remember it as the negative electrons are produced in the cathode. The cathode consists of a helical form filament of tungsten similar to the filament in a light bulb that this filament provides the source of electrons. The high voltage that is connected to the x-ray tube starts heating the helical filament and acceleration of the electron start. This process is called the thermoionic emission that we have a lot of negative charge electrons. These three electrons make a cloud that is called the space charge uh, because these negative charge electrons are out in the space. So we have a lot of negative electrons out there and because of electronic force, uh, we have spreading apart the electrons. Another part that we have in the cathode is the electronic focusing cup that is made of molybdenum and it's a negatively charged concave bowl. The bowl shape focuses the electrons into a narrow beam towards a small area on the anode so it contracts the width of the electron distribution. So the negative focusing cup starts pushing out the negative electrons towards the anode and also focusing them into a small area that we call it the focal spot. The positive terminal of the x-ray tube is called the anode. Remember it, it as it attracts the negative electrons. So the anode should be positive to attract negative electrons. The anode consists of a tungsten target, as we said the helical form filament in the cathode is tungsten, and we have a copper stem in the anode that it allows the dissipation of the heat. The negative electrons that are coming from the cathode that have a lot of energy are focused on the anode and are absorbed. So this is the target and it converts the energy of electrons to the x-ray photons. The area which the uh, electrons are focused on and the x-ray is created is called the focal spot. As better we can focus the electrons on the smaller part on the target, we will have a much more smaller focal spot and we will have a much more higher resolution. Okay, that was all for today. 
Thank you for watching this video and subscribing my channel and helping me to grow this channel. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Thank you for participating and spreading out the information to ones it would be helpful. Keep smiling and have an awesome day.